So we're gonna make a roasted, uh, a whole roasted carrot dish. Nice. With black lentils and green harissa. Beautiful. Okay. So, you know, at Veg, one of our trademarks is kind of like putting a whole vegetable in the middle of the plate. Nice. You know, we don't mess around. A lot of times when you get vegan food or vegetarian food, it's a bunch of chopped up little things mm -hmm. or it's a salad or a stir fry. Yeah. That's like a dish. That's yeah, not a meal, you know? Sure. So one of our goals is to kind of demonstrate that, you know, flavor is really about cooking. It's mm -hmm. not about meat. It's about good cooking. Of course. And I find that people would rather, you know, eat a great vegan dish than a bad dish with meat or chicken. 100%. In it. So it's about flavor, so that's totally. what we're doing. We're putting vegetables in the center of the plate where the meat used to be, and we're gonna season them in such a way that they're really gonna satisfy you. Because I'm a carnivore at heart. Oh, awesome! I, I need, I need I'm good all about flavor. It. Of course. Good flavor. Well, you have so many different aromatics and beautiful ingredients here on the table. I can't imagine this is going to be lacking flavor at all. Let's hope so. Okay, <laughs> let's let's uh, let's see what we can pull together here. Okay, okay great. so first things first. Let's get our lentils started. They take a little bit of time. And these are black lentils. These are black beluga lentils. They're so pretty. Lentils. No, they're really tiny. Yeah, they're, they're really delicious. And mm -hmm. what I like about the black lentils is they hold their texture, mm -hmm. uh, kind of like green lentils. You know, if you ever cook red lentils, they just break Fall down. Yeah, yeah, they become they become like refried dull. beans yeah. really quick. So, so I like them. They hold their um, they hold their texture really well. Um, so we're gonna just start a little uh, foundation here okay. uh, of flavor. So you can tell that's a fresh onion. Look at that. Oh that's, wow, that's onion milk. I tell people. When they buy vegetables, it's amazing to me. People will buy old vegetables. They will mm -hmm. never buy old meat or fish. Yeah, but they'll buy, but they'll old, buy old vegetables. You know, and I tell them, when you cut your vegetables, you know, look at all that. See, look at that moisture. Yeah, there. absolutely. That you can is smell a the onion. fresh, fresh vegetable. Mm -hmm. Eggplant should be like that. Green should be like that. They should be shiny. And when you cut them, they should release liquid. That means you have a very fresh vegetable. How do you know when you're fresh. buying an onion in the grocery store if it's fresh? Well, you gotta <laughs> look for the skin, and you just gotta <laughs> yeah. hope. Okay. Um, you know, it's kind of tough. You gotta you gotta buy from a reputable store too. You That's gotta everything. buy from a place that knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. That knows if they sell you a piece of crap, you're not gonna come back in a week <laughs> to buy more stuff. You know, you're not gonna take that chance. So let's just get a, uh, a little bit of onion dice going here. We don't need much, but you know, we do want to build a little foundation of flavor mm -hmm. here for our black lentils. Now, Veg is a totally vegan restaurant. Totally so vegan, yep. No animal products whatsoever. None at all. Not even a little bit of honey every once in a while. No, now <laughs> honey's a controversial. It I, is. Know, I do know a lot of vegans that will eat honey. Mm -hmm. um, I never cared for it, so it's never okay. been an issue for me. Uh, some will eat honey. It's a bit of a controversy. It is. Um, if you do it right, you know, I was on that show Chopped, and they, oh, nice. they made me use honey at the end. Oh, okay. And we got all these letters. <laughs> Some were from beekeepers saying, you know, if you do it, you know, the, the real old-fashioned way to collect mm -hmm. honey is actually a beautiful, you know, human bee kind right, of like symbiotic a ceremonial, relation. Yeah. yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. So, um, personal choice, I would say. Okay, so let's get some more onion in here. And, of course, we have our oil really hot. That's so important, you know, if you ever mm -hmm. put in onion into oil that's not hot, it just goes like this. Yeah, you got to sear it, you know, you got to you got to really kind of get that outside. So you really want to get off. some color on there. Absolutely. Now, right. I have a little garlic over there, if you could just hand that to me. Yep. Actually, give me that chopped, chopped garlic, garlic, if you don't mind. Sure. Let's, let's cheat a little bit. Let's cheat a little bit. Okay, we'll get that in there. I always add the onion, or the garlic, get about two minutes after the onion. Okay. You know, just so it doesn't burn. Now, this is a little bit of Latin spice here. It's everything good and, you know. It's a little bit spicy, may I? A little bit, yeah, a little paprika, mm. cumin, coriander, you know, Tasty. all the usual Tastes suspects. Like a taco. Now, what I'm doing is I'm getting this into the fat, mm -hmm. okay, and that's gonna kind of unlock all those flavors Sort there. of toast them a little bit. Exactly, look nice. at the way it changed color there. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can tell right away. You can smell it. Absolutely, so let's get our lentils in now, and we're actually gonna give them a nice little coating here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll just give them a little coating of all these aromatics. Now, mm -hmm. right away, that just smells incredible. Oh, totally. And look at that little coat of shine we have on our lentils. It's now, beautiful. And the lentils actually kind of mimic like ground beef a little bit. Right, right. In their appearance, at least. Okay, so let's get our vegetable stock in there. And you make this in-house? We make it in-house, but what I did today... Wow. Wow, that's ripping. That's what we call <laughs> ripping in the restaurant business. Ripping. I'm having new stove complex here. Here we go. <laughs> oh, you're all good. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to simmer that down. Now, um, one thing about vegetable stock, I find that when we do cooking demos and you talk about making vegetable stock, mm -hmm. the glazed over look happens in the audience. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm not doing that. Well, yeah. Don't worry about it. Get a bouillon cube, get a powder. There you go. For sure. I keep some in my house. Yeah. And I've been doing this for it's a simple. long time. You know, don't, don't kill yourself. You know, there's. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a bad stock because you know yeah. you can be the hero and make your own stock, but if you don't have 
enough body in it, right. you didn't do any good. It just so, tastes like carrots. Exactly. Yeah. So yes, we make our own vegetable stock, but you don't have to. Don't worry about it. Have fun with cooking. It's it's not a chore. You know, you'll be a hero when you make an incredible dish. Totally. Okay. Now you mentioned you've been doing this for a long time. How long have you actually been vegan? Well, veganism is something that kind of evolved with me over the years. Mm -hmm. I was a vegetarian forever, you know, and I just ate everything I could that had cheese and <laughs> eggs in it. I was the worst vegetarian in the world. And I realized this is maybe not the most healthy diet right. ever. So as I, as I moved into veganism, um, one thing I noticed is that the flavors of your vegetables become more alive to your palate. Mm -hmm. You're not constantly slicking everything with dairy. And, right. You know, uh, and most chefs will um, give you grilled asparagus and they'll put on Parmesan cheese and a fried egg and call right. that a sexy vegetarian <laughs> dish. No, that's a sexy heart disease dish is what it is. So, uh, you know, your, your palate becomes more alive. So as I evolved into veganism, um, the cooking got stronger, I mm -hmm. thought, and you feel a change in your body, which I would have For never sure. believed had it not happened to me. You know, everything, your mm -hmm. eyes, your hair, your energy level, your, your clarity of your, right. your thoughts. I don't make it up. I'm not, I'm not here from well, the I vegan council. Well, I believe you. You're very lively today, so I <laughs> think that has something to do with it. Well, exactly, yeah. yeah. So I, I got over six hours of sleep last night. That helps, too. <laughs> so, all right, let's let these guys simmer away here. About how long do you think they'll take? Well, you know, I like to, you know, you give them about 15, 16 minutes, but mm -hmm. this is a new stove for me. I'm going to watch course. them, okay? So, yeah, you know, don't it cooks fast. Timing this is, a... is science, you know, mm -hmm. eyes, ears, you know, you, you know, so you got to you gotta watch it. That's what real cooking is. Lentils okay? are great because they cook so fast, though, they unlike do. other beans. I know. You know? That's like two hours in an yeah. overnight <laughs> soak. Yeah, who has time for that these days? For sure. All right, let's check our lentils real quick. Okay, dope. And, um, wow. Oh, look at that. Look how they broke down. Isn't that gorgeous? It really is. Okay, now this, at this point right here, we're a few minutes away from being done. Okay. This is when we're going to add our salt. Now, remember, I told you there's not mm -hmm. a lot of salt in our uh, Latin blend. Would you mind passing sure. the salt? Um, this can be sometimes controversial when to add salt to beans and legumes, uh, right? Well, you're never supposed to add it early That's, because yeah, it will kind of inhibit say. their cooking process, mm -hmm. and you don't want to do that. Make it get kind of tough. Exactly. Exactly. So we, we don't serve tough beans in our restaurant. <laughs> so just a little bit of salt. Now, I mean, these are just about perfect. Look at that. They're they beautiful. observe all, all that beautiful stock. They're probably just still a little al dente. Yeah, they've still held their shape really nicely. And you see that onion and garlic's broken down. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to, I believe in like layers of seasoning. We're going to add just a little bit more of that Latin spice, if you wouldn't mind. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. This way you taste it in the beginning when it got seared in that oil. And on top with a little kind of, you know, just last minute. Nice. Last minute shot of spice there. Now, another thing we're going to do, just to add some richness, <coughs> is add a little mm. bit of oil. Now, there's vegan butters you can use, which are beautiful okay. here. But this adds, this makes them really just thick and luxurious. Okay, and we're going to let that cook in there. Great. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so let's just let that sit. Now, these are ready. And you can tell that Gorgeous. little bit of oil and just that last little bit of cooking really took them over the top. 